NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals clouds, chemical reactions, and more on an exoplanet far away from us. Webb is giving us a clear picture of planets outside our solar system. This time, the Space Telescope has been focusing on a so-called hot Saturn exoplanet known as WASP-39b. This exoplanet, also known as Boca Prins, orbits its star about 700 light-years away from us. A hot Saturn is considered any gas giant with a mass similar to Saturn and very low density. Such planets are also known as puffy planets. Space telescopes such as Hubble and Spitzer have already trained their instruments on Boca Prins and revealed ingredients in its atmosphere. However, the new observations bring us a full menu of atoms, molecules, and even signs of active chemistry in clouds. Boca Prins orbits its host star in just four Earth days, meaning the exoplanet is eight times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun, which makes the exoplanet extremely hot at nearly 900 degrees Celsius. Considering these conditions, the exoplanet is inhospitable to life as we know it. Webb observed this exoplanet by looking at light from its host star as it got filtered through the exoplanet's atmosphere, a process known as transmission spectroscopy. The main revelation is the discovery of sulfur dioxide, SO2, in an exoplanet's atmosphere for the first time ever. SO2 is a molecule produced from chemical reactions triggered by high-energy light from the planet's parent star. Earth's protective ozone layer is created in a similar way. Aside from sulfur dioxide, Webb discovered water, carbon monoxide, sodium, potassium, carbon dioxide, and more. The data also revealed a relatively low ratio of carbon to oxygen on the planet, suggesting that the exoplanet previously absorbed a high amount of water as ice, most likely when the planet was in a different position. This suggests Boca Prince formed somewhere in the outskirts of its planetary system, comparatively where Jupiter is around the Sun. What's worse news for life on this exoplanet is that it's tidally locked to its star, meaning the same face always points to the star. Also, something that scientists had never observed before is the fact that the exoplanet has incomplete cloud cover, meaning that up close, these clouds would look broken up rather than a single uniform blanket over the planet. This could result from clouds evaporating as they reach the hotter day side and condensing as they reach the cooler night side. Webb Telescope is observing about 70 exoplanets in its first year of science. And yes, that includes planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system. For those that don't know, the TRAPPIST-1 system is home to seven Earth-sized worlds, some of which could be potentially habitable. So, stay tuned. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.